you know, we're going to party today. We're going to have a good time. We're going to celebrate life, listen to Chance the Rapper, chill like a champ, talk about Jesus, share life, y'all. Yo, you got John Taylor Sweet here. I'm a photographer here in Seattle, and I like to celebrate Christmas with my family. After you, sir. Washington is literally one of the most beautiful places uh, on the planet to me. Um, everywhere you go is just absolutely beautiful. And there's just trees everywhere. The air is just so fresh. Yeah, it's just absolutely stunning. Um, from the opportunity to potentially to see wildlife or dead wildlife. Sorry, dear. The fact that he breathed this into existence blows my mind, which is another reason why I love Washington because you look at this and you're just like what in the world like this is crazy like all these layers Like that is just nuts. The only thing I can I can think of is that I, I am very blessed to have the job that I have I'm very honored to have the job that I have and couldn't be any more thankful for the community that it's also brought in my life community and people are my number one priority all the time. Uh, I have to be around people, otherwise I don't function. Anyone that knows me knows that. And now uh, Instagram has been a vessel for that and using uh, that platform as an opportunity to uh, develop friendships and um, develop opportunities. I want to be in a gospel choir so bad. So to give a little background, I started on my iPhone as a photographer. For the first like two years, I never owned a DSLR. I was just shooting on my iPhone and just going out and creating with friends. One of the coolest experiences I've had as a creative, a friend goes, what, what camera do you need? I really wanted to base it off what I needed versus what I wanted. And so I got a 5D Classic, which is Canon's first pro camera. And that was absolutely revolutionary for my creative stem uh, as a photographer. The simplicity of, of using your iPhone is just, it's a beautiful thing. Is it the most powerful device on the planet? Absolutely not. Using a DSLR has radically shifted everything. But going back to my roots, so to speak, has given opportunity to, to just remember, like this is where you started, like this is how everything happened. And, to get back those like creative cells instead of just getting in like the, the grind of business and, and all of that. So if you're looking to start taking photos, I strongly encourage to start on your iPhone and just figure out the basics uh, before you pick up a DSLR. Gosh, I love that God has called me to love people. Uh, that sounds incredibly broad, but it gets me up in the morning knowing that I have the opportunity to to serve, to love, uh, to adore who he loves most, uh, to take my craft and to use my gifts and talents to, to serve, to serve the kingdom and to serve a purpose beyond myself. It's the, the greatest thing that I could ever ask for is knowing that I get the chance to love people, uh, knowing that I get a chance to bless people. If that's just by laughing, if that's just by being a presence, if that's being a voice or a catalyst into someone's day, I love that. Lake Wenatchee, also known as Glory Cove. But yes, this place is amazing. It's really close to Leavenworth. Um, a lot of this place actually is where um, I got started with my photography stuff. Um, one of the first places I took like adventure photos, so to speak, on my phone. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is where it all started, guys. Next steps in business, uh, just in the next few years, I really want to build a really strong brand for myself um, that's sustainable, um, that's growing, that's only equipping uh, more people such as myself, uh, to be better creatives, 
uh, to be better business people, but also being able to just really tie in the factors of stories. Uh, I love capturing weddings and I love uh, capturing stories for organizations because there's nothing greater than being able to example visually where someone's heart is, like shooting a wedding or like going to shoot for an organization in a different country or even here in the States and things like that nature. A story is such an important thing and it's something so beautiful. So being able to explain it in the best high visual content possible to me is just an opportunity. I think it can do so much for not only a couple, but also for organizations and uh, for brands and for people that have so much that they want to do in, in life. I love that each day I get to get up and know that there's purpose uh, beyond just being alive. I love that each day I have an opportunity to celebrate my existence and the people around me's existence. Uh, I love that, um, that God is real, that He is um, existent in our day-to-day -day life. Good Lord in heaven, I am the luckiest man alive. I am, I am engaged, uh, ready to be married. Uh, her name is Karen Westrick, soon to be Karen Sweet, praise the Lord. Uh, she is the absolute best, so beautiful, so amazing, and is one of the greatest human beings on the planet. I don't know how I got so fortunate to be able to have her to be forever with. She's very competitive. She played four years of volleyball at Southern Oregon University, and she slayed the world one set at a time. Busy. <laughs> Planning a wedding <laughs> is is a task, but it's a ton of fun. I honestly, this season has been nothing but pure joy, uh, to say the least. Like, it is such a great season of life. I couldn't be any more thankful for the people that I get to go through this season of life with. If anyone's engaged, just enjoy it. Just milk it for all you got. I think a lot is down our path. There's so much that we want to do as a couple. Uh, one of those things is to live abroad. We're really chasing the dream to see if we could ever uh, have that possibility. Um, her parents live in Thailand, so we're thinking about potentially going over there. Recently, I've been shuffling around the word peace. Uh, when I went to Rwanda, uh, we asked a lot of the people there that, that the Kula Project works with what their definition of peace was. And me, myself, like, I find peace like in my vehicle. Uh, that's where I get away with God. That's where I uh, see my definition of peace, my, my time, my, my resting place. It's uh, my place to just get away from the busyness of life. And uh, there are moments where it can get chaotic, but I've been wrestling with, with peace and uh, what that really looks like because we're in such a free and awesome country, but people around the world are, are dealing with, with things that the U.S. has never dealt with before. And so I've been looking at this word of peace, trying to figure it out. Um, and what it could mean for someone like me that lives in a, a different culture and a different idea. Learning how I can use my, my gifts, my talents and things like that to serve people, to help bring peace to places of hell on earth. Farewell, friends. That like hurt my eyes, it was straight in the light. It's Jeremiah's first time ever to Seattle. And he has no explanation. Not a single one, no explanation. But it don't make no sense unless I'm doing it with you. Oh, come on, church. <laughs>